What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday. Today's Rogue Pokemon we're looking at is Miss Magius. It's a card that I've never played on the channel and didn't even think about it until I was actually looking on Tim Team MCR's Facebook page. And uh, what they're doing right now is they're posting basically almost daily. Uh, it's not daily. The Play for Worlds episode. And right now they're up to episode seven. If I'm no seven. Yeah, the episode seven where they have seven different deck lists to play for worlds and this one definitely kind of sparked my interest I, I like this deck a lot i definitely don't think it's a deck anybody's really covered before um that i've noticed maybe it has <clears throat> i don't really watch youtube too much um but i was looking for a free way to see in a rogue deck and that's very hard to do in this in this day of age with everybody having premium websites and right now we don't have any premium website sponsors but maybe that'll change uh coming up next week uh, but today we are looking at Miss Magus Garboder. So, uh, Miss Magus, that's our main attacker. It has Chaos Will does 30 damage. Very underwhelming, right? But your opponent can't play any Pokemon Tool, Special Energy, or Stadium cards from their hand during their next turn, which it's basically like a Giratina. I like this idea a lot, especially nowadays with Zork being everywhere. And there's no, like, um, there's no. Not, but there's no Pokemon Ranger, so there's no way they get around this Chaos Well, Once you Chaos with them, they're stuck, and like their only option is maybe like Guzma. And if they don't play anything but DCEs, then you're going to win that game, uh, which is pretty really cool. And so I'm excited to see if this idea can win or not. It also has Dark Arts. It does 20 times amount of um, this deck does 20 damage for each energy for each card in your opponent's hand. Uh, so they have a bunch of cards in hand. You can punish from Dark Arts as well and kind of take a quick knockout, but Usually that's a little bit harder since they're probably going to end when they read what Dark Arts does. So, um, and with Miss Magus, you also have Fighting Resistance, which I imagine in Buzzwell is going to be big. Um, but the other card in this deck is, of course, Garbodor. Garbodor just partners well with everything. Uh, the Trash Lance is really good, especially with those sort of Quasi decks running around like crazy. They play like a billion item cards, so Trash Lance just super punishes them. And one Garbodox and Garbodor for those decks that do play abilities like Greninja, Vika Volt, maybe even Zark. Uh, Zark doesn't really matter. You just go Miss Magius and you just win. Uh, unless they play like, unless they play like Alyssa Pot or something like that. Um, so yeah. Basically, it's just Miss Magius, Garboder, and of course, three, there's three Leylays here to help set up, uh, to find your supporter cards and everything like that. Alright, so that's me all the Pokemon in here. So that plays four Enhanced Hammer. Um, so once you E-Hammer plus Chaos Will, I mean, what, what does Zark do? Um, so I, and I really do think, like, um, in Team MCR's post, the three biggest decks, it's going to be Rayquaza and Zark. Um, I don't know what else is going to be there. Um, but it really does beat those decks a lot. And with Ms. Magius, you can Chaos Will plus a Choice Ban for 60 times 2, 120. So you get two shot Buzzwell, which is really nice. And it's just a non EX GX deck that's going to punish your opponent a lot. Uh, two Field Blower to get rid of tools, of course. Four Mysterious Treasure. You're going to notice there's no Ultra Balls in here. We can just play four Mysterious Treasure because we do play four Psychic Pokemon. Uh, two Rescue Shares, get back to Pokemon. One Bridget. I don't like the idea of one Bridget, but hey, we're testing that today. We're going to see what happens. Four Guzma, one Lily, did you draw six or eight? Uh, four in and four Sycamore. Basically, just um, no Cynthia, but we got eight cards here, plus one for nine. Uh, four Choice Spin, four Float Stone uh, for Free Retreat, and Choice Spin do max amount of damage because right now you're only doing 30, and especially against Zark, you're hitting for resistance, so you're doing 10 at a time, so. Uh. Uh, 2 DC and 8 Psychic Energy. So that's the deck. It's pretty straightforward. We're just going to Miss Magus Zark decks. We're going to Miss Magus Buzzwall decks. We're going to Miss Magus and then Garbodor. Not that Garbodor. This Garbodor. Once they have a billion of cards on Rayquaza's side of the field. So let's go play Miss Magus and uh, let's see how it does. I'm not sure how it does. It does seem very, very interesting. I do like this idea a lot. Um, just be able to punish your opponent and lock them out at the same time is very, very dirty. And it's not any extra GX. They did not got six of these things before they win the game. So I'll leave a link down below to Team MCR's Facebook page. Make sure you go check them out and uh, go read their all the different um, different deck lists they have right now. So Flax and Jewel. It looks like they're playing a Zark deck. Maybe Zark Garboder. Now if it is Zark Garboder, that this is going to be very, very interesting because it's going to depend what kind of energies they are playing. If they are playing the um if they are playing the blend energies then we're in a really really good spot so press done do i put down lily or not and that's the question so there's a shrubbish Ooh, okay 
Alright, so I think I'm going to Lele and maybe should have Mysterious Treasure first. But I want to save it. Okay, Bridge is in here, so we're good. We'll grab Bridget. Okay. <clears throat> we will Brigetti Spaghetti getting three Miss Magius. And yeah, that's all we really need there. We've got three Miss Magius. And we'll press done. All right, we got E-Hammer next turn. So the big question is, do they play unit energy or do they play uh, psyche energies? If they play unit, then we have pretty much an auto win right now. So Bridget, okay. And we'll hit for weakness own Trubishes as well. So Bridget here for three Zoras. Does he have a DC hand right now? And then it's going to be the question here. All right, so pass on to our turn. So we get a DCE. Not a card we really want to see right now. So put on Garbodor. Well, Mysterious Treasure, discard the Lily to grab a Miss Magius. Okay. Grab, put down Miss Magius. And I think I just sick him more. I just try to find the Floatstone and a Psychic Energy. Oh, we got it! Alright, so Floatstone, Retreat, uh, Psychic Energy, and now we kind of just look our opponent over Chaos Will every single turn. Alright, this should be a fun, interactive game of Chaos Will. Um, we also have Guzman next turn to knock out the Strubbish, um, which is really nice. And the question on everybody's mind, does my opponent play... Um, um, da, 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 do they play Unit Energies? Or do they play uh, da, 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 or Psychic Energy? Sorry. So one thing this deck could get trouble is um, is Crushing Hammer and Team Flagrants because this deck doesn't play Super Rod. So I might incorporate a Super Rod in here as well. That could be a very useful card. I think I'm just going to hold off and not goose me anything and just keep attacking. So Mysterious Treasure. Okay. Discard the DC. There's a Trubbish. Once again, the question is, what do they play? What kind of energies are they playing with these Garbodors? All right, so another Trubbish coming down. We see, it. oh, there's a Psychic Energy, the Trubbish. All right, so they do play Psychic Energy, but right now he's only doing 20, 40. He's, he's, doing, 40, he's doing 80 damage right now to Miss Magius. We got another Miss Magius. So pass on to our turn, All right? So we can put down Miss Magius. We can put a DC on this guy. 20, 40, 60. So we take a knockout with this guy if one, two as well. We'll put it on the other Trubbish and we'll Chaos Will for the knockout. There we go. So go down to five. There's an E Hammer. Okay, so E Hammer is really not. Okay, there we go. There's the win. Um, So what would happen is he would attack with Garb and not knock us out. We swing at him, not knocking him out. But then the next turn he knocks us out, then we knock him out, and then he has no more. Garbodor, so yeah, it's be a very, very long game, but I essentially think we would have won that game. Um, so yeah, yeah, even with the psychic energies, I think we, I'm pretty sure we would have won. Woo! All right, so there we go. We hit Zark in round number one. So we'll play two more games with this deck, and uh, do we hit two more Zarks? Hopefully not. Um, if we do, hopefully it's a little bit different of a game for sure. Okay, so we'll see what happens here, guys. On the game number two. Can Miss Magus win three games? Rick Wazzle didn't even do that yesterday. Um, um, also, if you're watching this, what expanded decks do you want me to cover? The rotation, the ban list should be live online by now. So we can cover any deck we want to and, and get you prepared for expanded regionals. So if there's a certain deck you want to see, let me know down below and I'm down to play whatever for expanded Thursday. And we're playing against a Greninja deck. All right, so the Greninja is going to be somewhat difficult, I do believe. Um, <clears throat> we do have the Garbotoxin, right? All right, just to slow him down just a little bit. But outside of that, really not too much. So put down the Mis Mistrevious. If they play a lot of Iron Cards, then we could punish them with Trash Lynch. I don't know. We're going to do 30. Smaller than 1. All right, so this is Greninja. I think Greninja is another good play for Worlds that people are kind of like not really looking at. Um, so yeah, we'll draw a card. It's a float stone. And we're just going in here. <clears throat> yep, that's fine. And the new Greninjas have 70 HP. Of course, we, we know this if we played the Greninja. If you watched the Greninja GX deck. So <clears throat> we do have an E-Hammer, but I'm just going to... I think I'm going to discard the Lele, actually. I'm fine with discarding Lele. Uh, grabbing the Trubbish. Uh, put down the Trubbish, put a Psychic Energy active, and press done. 
Oh, yeah, okay, we can't confuse right. It's our first turn. Duh, Josh, come on now. All right. So the question is, does he have a splash energy right now? If he attaches a splash energy, we have E-Hammer to discard it, which is really cool. So Brooklyn Hill, which is useless for us. We play no no water or fighting. All right. So uh, hey, Froki coming down. Pass on to our turn. All right. So we can... Oh, a stretcher top deck. Whatever. We have to find something. We have to start attacking this turn. All right. There we go. So put down this guy, and we can start attacking using 30 damage with Chaos Well. All right, so <clears throat> if we find a DCE, we could attack, but I'm probably going to bridge it here uh, for multiples, guys. Okay, Frogadier coming out. We're going to see water duplicates. Water should be active. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to go, actually. I thought this is actually going to go really bad, like really quick, like real bad. <clears throat> so duplicates, finding one, finding two, and finding three. Oh, my word. All right, so we'll bridge it here. Search for this and two of these guys. I mean, is it even worth getting these? I kind of just want to get these, to be honest. All right. But uh, Psychic Energy to Mischievous. And we'll cancel for another 30 damage. Now, he can't knock me out next turn, which is very, very uh, a good thing to note next turn. So he can't knock me out. All right, so there's Greninja. He can do, like, Moonlight Slash for 80, and, but that's not really going to matter. <coughs> the question is, can we find a DC? So Brooklyn Hill not finding anything, not even a Starry. So a Starry must be prized. And so Shadow Stitching for 40 damage. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to put a Psychic Energy on this guy. Retreat into this guy. Oh, I should have retreated. I should have waited. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. All right. This here. This here. Sycamore. Oh, no. Hopefully find something to get this knockout. That was an early retreat. Okay, so we're good. We'll do this. Discard uh, E-Hammer for a Miss Magius. Put down Miss Magius. Put down Garbodo Garbotoxin. And we'll just Chaos with the knockout. Oh, not for the knockout. What am I talking about? Nowhere close near knockout, Josh. What are you talking about? I don't even know. But good news is he can't use any abilities. Um, he hasn't found a supporter card either. Hmm. Moonlight Slash. All right, for max amount of damage, 80. All right, so there is a float stone. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> man. I'm going to float stone this guy and... Lily. Um. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we just like chaos for another thirty. Man, I still find a DC and I'll, and obviously take a knockout. Uh, but he still can't attach his. Sp okay, there's another grenade. Dang it! Okay, all right, all right. We gotta figure out what we do here. We need a better plan. So, start, why did he go to the start with Brooklyn Hill earlier? So, okay, that there, okay. Moonlight Slash for knockout. The problem is, is he has no item cards in this card pile. Alright, so we have to end this turn. If we don't, we're in trouble. So, Psychic, this thing, playing in. We'll probably feel like you're to the Brooklyn Hill. I mean, he's just going to slowly set up without playing any of his item cards. You know that, right? You know that, guys, right? My card is going to be useless. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So for the knockout. That's a real knockout this time. Go down to five. Find me a Garbodor. Oh, that's a Garbodor. Okay. But that's his discard pile. Trash Lunch does zero right now. Just point that out. Greninja, Water Energy, Moonlight Slash. Um, yeah, that's that's. I think it's gonna pretty much be game, guys. I mean, there's an end. I don't think he's gonna play any item cards. I'm just gonna let you know. I don't think DJ. I don't think he's gonna play item cards here. I think he's gonna play smart. Not gonna play anything, and uh, we're gonna lose this game. That's what I'm thinking. I could be incorrect. Uh, my next play is... To, okay, ooh, Evo Soda. Hey, there we go. Playing one. 
<laughs> okay, for a grenade to break. Oh my goodness. Well, Josh, you've got yourself in a pickle, bud. You've gotten yourself in a pickle. Alright, so Ultra Ball. Oh, he is playing on cards. Yes. Okay. So there's two in there right now. We're going places. So Greenwich coming down okay. Let's see what's he do here. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Okay, so Greninja going down. He already end us. And a stretcher. Ooh, he keeps putting all these item cards. Discard pile. That's three now. One, two, three. Okay, he can put three back in his deck. Okay. <clears throat> we'll see a Moonlight Slash for the knockout. Sin of Garboder. All right. This is what we got, guys. This is what we got right now going for us. I know it's nothing. I know it literally does nothing. But it's our only option. Like, we get a little confused, right? Because he's got free retreat. So, Starmie coming down. Okay. He's going to move Moonlight Slash for 80. Okay. On the iron turn. We waited to drive for another 40, okay. Alright, he's gonna Moonlight Slash again. And then takes the knock, it goes down. Okay, there's an in. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we get here. Find me some good stuff. How many items are in here? One, two, three. Oh, there's Trash Lynch. Four. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I think the play is put down this guy. 20, 40, 60, 80. Put down Trash Lynch. Guzma up his Froki. Send up our Garb. Take a knockout. Okay. Good out of four price cards. Give me a DC. Okay, Greninja coming up. Hmm. So, Water G active. Okay. Moonlight Slash for 80. So, he's going to be able to two shot us. Okay, so on our turn. Find a Guzma. Alright, so I'm going to Guzma break up the Starmie. Send up our Garbodor. Retreat. And Trash Lanch. Okay, trying to two shot this Starmie. <clears throat> Just trying to make, take as many prize cards as we can with this with this Garbodor. We want him to go the distance. For sure. So we have. Okay, so on our turn. Okay, okay, okay. So, we get a second more. okay. so what we could do is we could Trash Lanch for the knockout. Right? Go down to three. Like, oh, that's a good card to top deck right there. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Greninja coming up. Okay. <clears throat> There's a Water Energy. Froki. Hey, Froki. That's a good card for us to see. So it takes a knockout, goes down to three. Okay. Is I mean, he's probably going to win. He can, like, giant Water Sugar in this guy at any moment, any moment, which is what I'm scared of. Okay, so we're going to... This, put three back in our deck. One, two, and then the Lele. We will Mysterious Treasure discard the Lele for a, another Trubbish. Put down Trubbish, put down Garbodor, and play Sycamore. Okay. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so my plan is to put a Psychic Energy here. Retreat. And go for Chaos Will. And the next turn we can do is put a DC on it. Take a knockout. Okay. Because he doesn't get a knockout immediately right now. Unless he plays like some kind of Total Remover card. And then he can take a knockout right now. So why did you active? Okay. 
There's a frogadier. No, we don't need the frogadier. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need the car coming down. Okay, there's an in. No, my DCE. No. Okay, we get three as well. My goodness. All right. 20, 40, 60, 80. So, all right, so what we can do is Guzma. All right, so Guzma, break up his Frogadier. Send up our Garbodor. Put a Psychic Energy and Trash Knight for the knockout. All right, go down to two. It's a Field Blower. Oh, that Field Blower could be really, really useful. All right, we're getting some prices, guys. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. Okay, why did you deactive? Okay. Moonlight Slash. <laughs> Gotta do my warm up stretches. Okay, Psychic Energy. Okay. <clears throat> Put a Psychic Energy here. Trash Lynch. Okay, for 80. That's our fourth Guzma, though, right? It is. Okay, we got top deck out of the Garbodor. So Splash Energy, okay. Splash Energy, Splash Energy coming down. So Moonlight Slash from the Lockout going down to two. This is the moment of truth. He can win next turn. He just got a Field Blower Shuriken. Please let me find an end. Top deck, give me something. Okay, so we can Field Blower. Gear to the Floodstone. Lele, Wonder Tag. Yes. For an N. Okay. Put a Floodstone here. Floodstone this guy. And N. No, that's not what we needed. Oh, no, that's... It's not game, but it's... Oh, man. Man. Okay, okay. 30. Okay. Dang it. Okay, for the Greninja. Break or whatever. Okay, there's a break. Okay. There's a one for a chance right now. Oh, goodness. Oh, googly moogly. Does he find a field blower? All right, shadow stitching. Do we top the Garbodor? <laughs> All right, get in there, Garbodor. Do we top the other Garbodor? No. Okay, 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 okay. So our plan is to retreat. Put this here. Retreat this to here. Topic here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's the motion I'm doing today, but it's, it is right now. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, my Lanta. Please calm down, opponent. Don't do this to me. We are best friends. All right. Another frog in the field, okay? <gasps> there it is. The dreaded field bar. <laughs> okay. Does he hit double water energy? If he hits double water, he wins right now. If he hits double water, he wins. Does he hit double water energy? That's the question here, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, goodness, help me, Pokemon. No, oh, I don't know this, man. <coughs> oh, goodness. Well, he wins. Oh, he just wins regardless. He can just Moonlight Slash and wins right now. He didn't even need all that. He don't even, like, yeah, right? Oh, no, no, he needed both. Yeah, he needed both. He needed both. Okay. Dang it! <laughs> we made so good plays. We tried our best. Uh, that end, we got rid of the DCE. That was definitely the game changer. I think we would have won the game if we got the DCE. Would have smacked him for a knockout. And then it would have been, he could have knocked out the, the guy or something. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. That was, such, that was such a good game, actually. That was a really close game. We almost beat a game. We almost beat a deck that we're supposed to like. I don't lose, too. All right. Macargo, Orangaroo, um, Zark. 
So, like I said earlier, the thing with this deck is he definitely plays multiple um, crush namers and he plays in and um, stuff like that. So this is actually a really good hand right now. This is perfect. This is what we want to see turn one. Uh, choice Span, Psychic, Lily. Do we attach a Psychic? Uh, I don't know. He could discard the energy or Lily could knock us out. Ooh, that's actually really scary. I think if we just choice in Lily and don't attach the Psychic energy because that would be nerve-wracking. So press done. Okay, alrighty. Well, we got here, opponent. Well, we got Pokey, 1588. What do you got for us, buddy? What we got here today? My face looks kind of weird right now. I am really delusional right now because this dangy heat lamp right now. 1400 watt, burning my eyeballs. All right. What is this? What are we playing against right now? I still don't want to attach. I do not want to attach. Why is there a watch road in front of me right now? What is happening right now? What land have we just entered in? Am I in trouble? It's a body, okay, a stretcher, okay. So that's three tool cards, okay. Or three, okay. Okay, what does Alolan Rod What does Alolan Rod GX do? Guys, I need somebody to Google this for me right now. <clears throat> if you could. Oh, my. he said my... You said your Lily? He said my Lily. No, no, no. My Lily. Call for the boss. What does Alolan Rod GX do? Oh, my goodness. Are we about to find out today? There are so many in this discard pile. We're going to win this game. Like, he is going to put so many tool cards in there. Oh, there's another road. Okay. And, uh, we're gonna punish him. <laughs> Alright. Call for the boss. I did not expect. Oh, that's a wash road? A frost road? Like, what is. <gasps> he must already have it in his hand. I think. That's what that means. I think that's what it means. Maybe. Put this down. Put this on this guy. Use my chaos tool. I think a load around the K for like zero, um, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we're doing 140 with our guard. Okay, there he is. Oh, oh, and we're weak. Great. He knew he's no energy attack, but he's got to chuck away some Pokemon cards. Interesting. Chuck away. Okay. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 180. If we find a choice ban and a trash line, we should take a knockout. So, oh, there's choice ban, floatstone, garbador, psychic, in. Give me. Oh, we did it. We got it. All right, so I don't think he plays any energy. So I'm going to mysterious treasure, discard a hammer. To grab the garbage, the, the trash lantern boy. Put this down, retreat, and knockout, right? That should be a knockout, I'm pretty sure. So, retreat. Trash lanch. Alrighty, so Guzma and Trubbish. I mean, okay, you chucked away my guy, but you chucked away so many item cards. But it is cool to see the Lola Eradicate make an appearance. We took down the Zora deck. We barely lost. Uh, he can't use the abilities either because of, of Garbodor. So he can't even use his like frost, his like Rotom stuff as well. Um, so he needs like field blowers. So it's just going to be a hard matchup for him, I feel like. I could be wrong, though. It could be maybe a good matchup for him. But So bodybuild dumbbells. Ooh, it's the Lola Eradicate GX. Okay. Ultra Ball. Okay. But he's Ultra Balling. Like, he's discarding more stuff. Okay, a Ringaroo, which is not going to matter. He, we are, we're garbage locking him right now. Field Blower. Sigmar. High five, buddy. All right, so seven new cards coming down. Okay. So, like, his best attacker is this Rotom, this Plasma Slice. That's definitely the scariest card on this field. 
but outside of that, okay, so here comes Eradicate. Um, I think we should have this game for sure. Okay, I don't care about this card. I don't care about it at all, actually. That's fine with me. Yeah, I'm gonna put down Trubbish, Sycamore, trying to find another Trash Lanch. And all I have to do at this turn is knock out two more. Oh, how much HP does he have now? 240. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 220, 250. Oh, man. We actually need. Oh, no, 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 no. I need a field blower to get rid of that body mill dumbbells. We don't actually knock it out. Oh, there's a field blower. Okay. Now we have enough to knock him out? Why would you play the field blower there? Oh, he got rid of the choice ban. Okay. So we gotta find choice ban now to take a knockout. But we'll play four of those. We're realistically more likely to draw to choice ban until that one field blower. Um, if we find the field blower, we can discard the flowstone and the bodybuilding dumbbells, so that's fine. Bursty balloon going to plasma slice. Burst balloon going to plasma slice. Okay. He's already retreated. He can't retreat again. He's already played his sport card. So chuck away, discarding two cards. What's he gonna discard here though? He can't discard Oh my goodness, we just are just gonna like destroy him. We're about to do so much damage, it's not even funny. Like, we're going to Sycamore and probably do like a billion damage. Like, I'm not even kidding you. And we find a Choice Spin. How much damage are we about to do? That's the game here. How much damage can Trash Lanch do? So, Trash Lanch... 310. So, 330 is what we're doing right now with Trash Lanch. We're doing 300. We're doing 300 damage with it. So, Burst Moon gets discarded. Okay. I'm fine. Just discard all your stuff, buddy. Let's see how much damage we can do. That's the question here. So, Field Blower again. Okay. Discard your own Floatstone. Well, he's going to discard this. That's that's the, obviously the correct play here. Um, for sure. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> for sure, for sure. He discarded the Floatstone as well. He said, if you're taking a knockout, buddy, you're going to do max amount of... Okay. He got a Sycamore, though, off the, off the rank. Okay. So, he could have maybe a rank through there and try to find an end. Um, because right now we're going to stretcher, Garbodor, put down Garbodor, um, and just trying to find her. <laughs> There's an acrobike. My goodness. We're going to do so much damage. Oh, my goodness. And another acrobike. <laughs> you think at this point he's just having fun with us? I hope that's the plan. <laughs> Makes this Rogue Tuesday very, very enjoyable right now. Okay. All right. So let's see what else he's got here. There's another burst balloon. Oh, that's actually really bad for us. Oh, that's not too bad because he's going to one shot us regardless um, with these plasma slice guys. So it goes down to five. We'll send up the Garbodor. Uh, I think we just. We have to play safe. Oh, no! No! I wanted to see how much damage I can do. No! We would have done so much. I was going to um, stretch her, put the three back into our deck. Make the safe play, I think, is probably the better play. So you have more troubleshoots and stuff like that. But, guys, there we go. There's Miss Magus, Garboder. I think it, it, like, in this deck, we kind of showed, like, how good it is against, um, how good it gets against Rayquaza. Because Rayquaza's going to play a bunch of item cards. And they kind of have to, they, they, to get set up, right? Um, Buzz will, like, sit here for weakness. Um, but you do struggle against, like, that Greninja deck. Uh, that we saw a second ago. But guys, there you go. There's Road Tuesday. Like I said, go check out Team MCR's Facebook page. They have a bunch of different deck lists covering for free, which I do love and support. And if you uh, have a suggestion of what should play for Expanded Thursday, let me know. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow for, uh, for Wednesday. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.